Hello and welcome to the second issue of X-Men and this is written by Jed McKay, penciler is Ryan Stegman, inker is J.P. Mayer, Mayer. Uh, colours are Marty Gracia and Fur Sefutes Sujo and uh, apologies if I said any names wrong and on the side you've got the, the cast that are going to be in this title probably for a while so we have a mutant a mutant and we also have an alien invasion so two problems scott summers has advised uh san francisco humans i in fact when i saw the invasion i actually thought it was a flashback to the the scrolls invasion it was a uh, a past story that affects now but um clearly i was wrong within a page uh, so uh cyclops says we're uh he reached out to humans saying we're here to help you with the alien invasion but in reality the cover is they're there to help the new mutant but they will stop uh the aliens as possible uh, we have some nice banter between uh cyclops and kid omega kid omega does, likes to be called that and cyclops likes to call him quintum so nice banter between them and also magic uh, interfaced with the Marauder to get them to this location pretty quick. So I'm not sure how that actually works, but it's happened and they're there. And then we get this scene where uh, Magic's like, uh, be careful of the little green men. And he's like worried. I've got two uh, dangerous women next to me with swords. You know, when I was a teenager, this was my ideal world. So Quinton is essentially uh, shooting the aliens like uh, a game of uh, alien invasion. And uh, Juggernaut is about to go into the mass driver. Now Quinton winds him up saying that Ideal is going to go in there. <laughs> but uh, it's really him. Cyclops starts sensing that uh, something is wrong. Something isn't right. Let's get an alien and we can... Uh, find out what's going on here uh we also get once again a little bit of uh banter between you know cyclops and salix and that something is strange here and magic's like nothing strange here i come and basically it's because she was raised in the hell dimension so she didn't see things like that we have juggernaut once again um giving a, a fist bump to one of his uh new pals so this is the, the new juggernaut way uh, and maybe this is all he ever wanted let's be honest he was bullied by his parent pressurized by his parent to probably do things as a child and, and become that bully and, and in reality perhaps all he ever wanted was some nice friends to steer him in the right direction and you know by the time he came in, in the early days of juggernaut you know he was a very angry man, very angry, blamed the world for everything, blamed Xavier for everything, and, and as course, the X-Men. And then eventually, you know, I mean, we saw that stint in the early 2000s where he became an X-Men. I quite liked him in that, trying to redeem himself. And, you know, slowly he's become part of the X-Men team. And, you know, I think perhaps he deserves it. I'm actually liking Juggernaut in this. Anyway... Nothing can stop the juggernaut. Look at that. That is a stunning piece of art flying towards the spaceship, which just turns to dust. And that's when Cyclops realized that it is the mutant creating this. He can reality warp. So by taking out some more of these imaginary aliens, he finally gets to talk to this young, well, not young man, this, this adult Ben, who's manifest these powers. And he, he even says himself, you know, I'm too old to manifest my powers, etc. And uh, he says, you're not going to take me away in the spaceship. <laughs> um, and then Magic reminds Cyclops, we have a spaceship. Literally, the Marauder is a spaceship. That's why he's scared, because he's he thinks he's been taken by aliens. Um, I think there's probably been people over the years that think they've been taken by aliens. I, for one, am not one of those that thinks that they've been taken by aliens. So he's so scared of being taken in the space station, he ends up uh, disintegrating himself. And uh, pretty much Cyclops says he was a mutant. Uh, I'm not sure if this was his father or his friend. 
Um, he was clearly living on the street, so it's not sure. But reality and imagination are two things because Ben actually didn't disintegrate himself. Cyclops just wanted the world to see that. So once again, this, this issue flew by. I, I really do, I mean, I've read many of Jed's things before, but you know, he, he flies. My worry is that um, there's so much banter and some of these characters, sometimes a little bit of banter from Cyclops and magic, probably more magic than Cyclops is, is okay. And Quinton's one of those characters as well. It is fine, but too much may make them come out of character. And we know characters evolve, they change constantly, but that is just one of my worries about this. And then we next get uh, Scott Summers versus the United States of America. I'm quite looking forward to that. I'm hoping that is uh, more of a, uh, a speechy thing about how mutants have been treated, etc. I, I quite looking forward to that. I hope it is what I think it is. And it may not be what I think it is. Let's be honest, it's comics. Things change all the time. And I never look at previews until I get an issue. Uh, and then at the back, it's got this. So Deadpool and Wolverine Weapon Extraction Part 8. So I guess this is perhaps over several of the X-Men issues. I think the idea is, uh, I think um, the film was coming out, perhaps. And maybe that's why they wanted to do something like this. And this is clearly the end of it. I'm not going to talk about it because I didn't read it, to be honest with you. And then on there we got, yeah, uh, how did the X-Men come to possess their HQ, the factory, and how difficult in a position does that put them in? As Cyclops meets the impossible agent Lundvist, the X-Men come to find that their new home may not be as secure as they had thought. Okay, interesting. So maybe, apologies, maybe it's not what I think it is. And then we got the soundtrack from that awesome film, Deadpool and Wolverine. So yeah, another fabulous issue. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you like me and my video, please do support my channel by subscribing. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure you look after yourself. Very important things. Everybody that subscribed to my channel already. And as always, embrace geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.